I'm going to show you how to read and use a vernier caliper with a fine adjuster in Imperio. So we're going to be doing thousandths of an inch. This is how the caliper looks like with the fine adjuster mechanism. This is how a plain vernier caliper looks like. You can see the differences between the two. And uh, this one on the bottom, it has uh, only one lock nut. And this one on top has two lock nuts and it has this fine adjuster uh, little mechanism that slides. Well, when it's not locked in, it's, it moves considerably. So I'll show you how this one goes. You have to loosen both and then it slides, but every so often this is going to bind. The distance between the fine adjuster mechanism and the other sliding part is not really important. You can adjust it there and set it wherever you like. The purpose of this one is, I'll show you, I'm just going to grab a, how about this washer? This washer here is to take consistent measurements and especially with soft materials. So this one you can just squeeze it together like so and lock, not the first one, lock the fine adjuster mechanism and uh, let me see there we go. A quarter turn will open the jaws enough to drop the item that you're measuring and a quarter turn on this on this fine adjuster wheel will grab the material just enough the other way. So there, a quarter turn. So you can take consistent measurements without bending, distorting or compressing the item that's being measured. Okay, that's what the fine adjuster mechanism is for. So, let's take a measurement on this one. I'm going to put it on the overhead so you see the numbers. How about, how about this way? Okay. There, this is where reading starts. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, the other way out. And just a tad more. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so the imperial scale is this upper scale. These numbers are the imperial, those ones are millimeters. Don't worry about the millimeters down here. The, yeah, so the upper numbers belong here. Starting at zero, this is calibrating. You have to make sure that you hit zero, zero, zero with the instrument. That means the sliding zero on the sliding scale and the main scale zero, those hairlines must line up when the caliper's jaws are closed. And the last hairline, it doesn't say zero on it, but that last hairline on the sliding scale must line up with one of the lines on the main scale, any. But uh, it has to the last one has to line up with one of them. So. The precision of the instrument is a thousandth of an inch. Maybe move it a little bit that way. There. One thousandth of an inch. Maybe just a bit more. There. And that one thousandth of an inch means that the smallest increment, a smallest reading, will be a thousandth of an inch. That's going to be its uh, place value. So. Let's uh, measure something. How about this toothpick? Let's measure the thickness of this toothpick. I'll show you how these numbers are being generated. There, that would be the toothpick in place. I'm just going to lock this one. And there, we have the numbers. Okay, the whole number digits would come off the main scale. You can see the numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 1. That's 1 inch. The thickness of the toothpick is not more than 1 inch, so it's going to be 0 point something. So your first digit, the first number, the whole number of inches is 0 because we are under an inch. So we are talking 0 point. The next digit, these ones are tenth of an inch. These are not fractions of an inch, this is decimal inches. 
and these are tenth of an inch. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.81. That's how the numbers go. Those are the numbered tenth of an inch. There is also the unnumbered tenths. That would be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 unnumbered. 0.7 and 0.9 are clearly marked but they are not numbered. We have between every tenth of an inch, so those are your tenth digits, and between every tenth you can see there is three lines, I'm not going to make four divisions, so there's one part, two part, three part, four parts, every tenth is divided into four parts, and each part is 25 thousandth of an inch. So the numbers will, get, will be that's 0 0.6, 0 0.625, 650, 675, 0.7, 100, but the extra zeros at the end are usually not, uh, not pronounced unless they are significant digits for some reason. So that's 0 0.7, 0 0.725, 750, 775, 0.8. That's how the numbers go. And uh, to get this reading going, we have to look at which, this relation here, which mark on the main scale has been passed by the sliding zero on the sliding scale. The number here is 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75. Okay, I just get it a little further in your field. The 0.75, let's zoom into it because it is not easy to look at there. 0.75 so far has been clearly passed, but we are not past the 0.1 inch. To get more digits, we're going to have to look at the vernier scale to see which one of these smaller vernier lines line up with any of the numbers on the main scale. That one doesn't line up, doesn't line up, doesn't line up, doesn't line up. It's getting pretty close. Those are those look pretty close there. That one doesn't line up, doesn't line up, doesn't line up, doesn't line up, and uh, those are the rest of them are way off. So we're gonna have to choose one of uh, one of these three that will be for perfect alignment. But it's really hard to see. It could be either one of these. They look pretty. They, both of them look pretty close. Uh, even if I zoom in even further, it's going to be really, really hard to choose from. That one lines up with that one pretty well. Let me just make it sharp. There. And that one also lines up with that one. Just for the math's sake, let me go with that line, okay? So you see how the numbers go. But this, this one is also good. That one is off about as much as that one is off, symmetrically. And that one is also off about as much as that one. So if this one and this one are symmetrically off, then yeah, I, would st well, I still wouldn't be able to choose between the two. So I'm going to go with this one. And there's a, if that's 5, that's 6, 7, 8, this is 9. Okay, so that's, there's your thousandth digit, 9, 9 thousandth. That 9 gets to be added to whatever is read off the main scale. So your number will be 0 0.75 plus the 9. So that's going to be... Sorry, just, uh, just a sec. Uh, where was I? 75 plus 5, that would be 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Okay, so that's 0.25, sorry, not 0.25, 0 0.025, 0 0.050, 0 0.075, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 0 0.084 inches or 84 thousandth of an inch. Okay, let's uh, take another measurement on another item. How about this? washer that I had before. We can measure this one. How about outside diameter? 
just like so. Yes. And that's it. Yeah, that's pretty good the outside diameter on that one. But then let's see this number here. First off, we need a whole number. The washer is not bigger than an inch. Same steps. That's one inch there. That sliding zero, not the edge of the sliding part. That's irrelevant where the edge of the metal ends. The sliding zero hasn't slid past the one inch mark. This is the one inch mark here. So we're going to start with zero point something inch. We have point six, point seven, point eight. The edge is past point seven, so there's your tenth digit. 0.7. Now the hundreds and thousandth digit come from those little hair lines that we need to combine together. That's 0.7, that's 0.725 and that's 0.750. We are between 0.725 and 0.750. We're going to go 725 and then we need to look at which one of the sliding scale hair lines line up with the any of the lines on the main scale. And just move it over a little bit. The first five are way out of alignment. Those ones are out. Those ones are out. Those ones look good, and those ones are out again. So I'm gonna pick because I'm closer to the board than you are. I'm gonna pick that line there where it's between the 15 and the 20. That would be the line 19. So if you Look at it from super close. They're absolutely magnified. Then that's that's the best alignment. Alright? And that's 19. Now technically you can just add that 19, 19 thousandths to the 25 thousandths on a calculator. Something like that was what was it? Uh, 725. So you can just go point 725 just like that and you can just add that 19 to it but watch out for the place values it's not 19 it's a point 19 just like that okay it's 19 thousandths and then you have the answer 700 and there 744 thousandths of an inch but you can also get it off just like last time 725 730 740 sorry 725, 730, 735, 740, and 741, 42, 43, 44. Just like so. So you don't need a calculator necessarily. 744, uh, 744 thousandth of an inch. Alright, that's how it goes. Let's measure one more thing. I don't know. Something that's bigger than an inch. How about this wooden block here? This one, it's it's bigger than an inch. We'll measure this one like so. And let's take a look at the reading there. Okay, the whole number, the first number comes off from the main scale, where the zero on the sliding scale uh, relates to the main scale. That would be there on the far end, on, the, on your far left. This would be the one, one whole inch. So we have a one point something, one point one, one point two, one point three, and that zero is past the one point four as well. We have one point four plus something else. Let's see the little guys. One point four. So there's the whole number, and there's the tenth digit. Let's see the hundreds and the thousands digit. We are not past the 25 so it's going to be less than 1.425 let's see which one of the lines on the sliding scale I'm just going to zoom out a little bit which one of the hair lines on the sliding scale line up with which one of the any one of the lines on the main scale so that one's off that one's off that one's off that one's off not good not good not good that's way off way off way off that's getting close, getting close. How about that one? I like that one. Which looks like a 21. Okay, if I have this super magnification here. 
Yeah, the 20 looks pretty glue, pretty close too. That one looks pretty close, but I think I like that one best, the 21. So the reading is because there is no addition involved in this one is 21,000. So what you do, what the final measurement will be is final number is 1.421. 1 1.421 that's the measurement of uh, this one so it's one inch and 421 thousandth of an inch okay that's how this caliper works it's uh, really hard to see it without magnification it is training the eye and uh, you have to watch the hairlines and count carefully